Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to do the second part of uh, absence of fake paper jam. There are lots of uh, situations uh, make the absent to think there's a paper jam. Uh, there's no way I can sum them together and make a one video. So uh, maybe I just do it piece by piece. And uh, so you guys keep following me. So uh, whenever I come to your question and you, 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 you'll see the answer. Today I'm going to show you a weird one. So this printer, when you turn it on, everything looks okay. See, it can bring out the home screen. However, you can see the small wheel is still turning and uh, it's going to load half of a page and then It'll stop and uh, complain there's a paper jam. I know, never seen that before, right? <laughs> You'll take that piece of paper off and then the process just restart again. You get a paper jammed. Take the paper off, get paper jammed. Let's work on it. I'll put uh, the link to the last video above. Uh, in the last video, uh, we talk about uh, uh, maybe your uh, one of your gear is popped out. So when uh, so when the printer spin this wheel, the force cannot be transferred to this wheel, and uh, that will cause a uh, that that will cause a paper jam. But this is not the case today. Then the second thing we're going to consider is uh, the printer has a sensor right here. It's called a paper eject sensor or PE sensor. Let's take a look from the back. Uh, that black lever, uh, when there's no paper there, it should uh, fall into the uh, slot vertically. So it blocks the light of the sensor and that the sensor know uh, there's no paper. Uh, when you're struggling with uh, paper jam, sometimes you pull this lever out or you uh, damage this lever. No worries, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and just go to printer parts. We have all kinds of parts for the, for the printer. You might be able to find a, find a lever uh, or any sensors. Uh, we normally have a really good video show you how to install the sensor and uh, how to test it. Then we'll put a piece of paper through the roller, make sure there's no debris or obstruction that uh, uh, stops the paper. Especially if you print stickers, there's sometimes sometimes there's a sticker gets stuck on the wheel. Uh, then the printer is trying to move to the left. Uh, it's trying to say, is, uh, do you have a piece of paper on the left that uh, jams the movement of the printhead? Which we don't because we saw the error message comes up when the printhead is on the right position. Oh, actually, take my words back. Uh, even the printer can move to the left. Sometimes the printer doesn't know it's, it can move to the left because you got a piece of uh, debris or something on the on the, the the timing belt. I'll put another description above uh, to show you how to check the timing belt. So this belt, you've got sturdy, and uh, the printer will lost uh, lost its location. It doesn't know where where the printer is. So we do the same thing to the right. So no debris, and timing belt is clean, and uh, it look uh, we out of ideas. Uh, don't give up yet. Another thing is the printer knows its location because it is referenced from the zero location. The zero location is controlled by this uh, uh, printhead lock. So if we get a zero location wrong, and uh, you also get all the reference uh, that the right and left location wrong. That could be a factor. So it may be a malfunction uh, printhead lock. So everything so far I checked out okay. So that got me really excited. So I decided to take the, uh, the top off and uh, take, a, take a better look. It took me two hours to check on every single thing and uh, nothing's wrong at all. Then just out of random, rather than push the uh, blue key, uh, I press the stop key, the orange key, 
and they asked me about something of a fax. Uh, do, I, do I want to print the fax report? I said no. And uh, it went back to the home screen. And see the small wheel is uh, turning now. It's trying to load that piece of paper. And uh, before it's be able to load that paper, I'll just press the, uh, the, the orange stop button and uh, say do not print the report. If it spits out the paper, I'll just take the paper away. Uh, when it comes to the home screen and uh, when I see the little wheel is turning, I'll just press the, the stop button. Every time the fax report number uh, increases by one, so I hope there's end of this. Eventually it stopped, it went to the home screen without uh, turning the small wheel. So it seems the problem went away. So I put the paper roller back and uh, and uh, see if I can print a regular page. Looking good. Uh, I don't have any ink in the cartridges, so I can just print a blank page. Pour it off and I'll pour it on and uh, print another test page. And everything looks good. The problem is solved. Uh, we had to go through this much trouble to <laughs> Uh, find out the solution is so simple. Uh, somehow the fax reports is interference with uh, printing. So if you cancel all the reports, you will be back to working. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.